bikini weather. Starting them out. Okay, back on the FXR today. I'll finish the forks up, uh, get the wheel bearings in, the front wheel, get them all packed, and uh, button that up. Maybe get the uh, the two into one header or pipes on there, and then uh, make a template for the bracket. And I might get that CNC machined. Got a buddy that has his own little uh, machine shop, or I'll take it to Peter to the big machine shop, and they can cut it out for me. That's my goal today. Get that done. Okay, gonna pull this uh, four clamps off, upper and lower. Can't get at these uh, signal light wires. Somebody's soldered them together here when I think there should be a clip right there to unclip them. I might have to cut them and re-solder them. But, see what I can do. I was hoping they're gonna go into the headlight. They go into that harness. I loosened the pinch bolt off right here. Put a piece of tape up. They're both black, so you can't tell which is left or right. So I'll put a piece of tape on there. And uh, I think I'll put a quick connect on them so you don't have to cut the wire every time because this goes right into that plug and you can't get out. I'll mark the right one too in case one falls off. I can now actually take this chrome piece and all this off now to get out the pinch bolts, but you can still get out the pinch bolts in here. I'm just going to take it apart the way it is, lay the handlebars and everything down up here. These aren't the original handlebars. These are like FLH bars. They're too wide for this bike. I may change those. They're comfortable though. Wide bars. These are supposed to have buckhorn, buckhorn bars that are a little bit narrower. has been apart before somebody's repacked this with this blue grease here but uh, the bearings themselves look pretty dry I'm just gonna replace it all repack it
They, they needed to be repacked for sure. I don't think they were packed properly, like there's nothing inside. Anyway, let's take that apart. Oh, this has got no edge to catch. Very little edge. Jeez. Oh. I already ordered the the uh, steering head bearings from All Balls bearings. They're a pretty good supplier. Harley sells a special tool for taking out the races. You can get them on eBay for 75, 85 bucks. There's very, you know, <laughs> on Japanese bikes, there's, you can usually get a long punch in there, just punch them out. The Harleys, there's one spot here I can feel where I can catch it. There's a couple tricks though. I got a couple tricks that I might have to use to get this out. Right there, there's a little bit of an edge. Okay, let me get that ready. This bearing, it's usually not too bad getting this one out. Usually you can get at it uh, by spreading it out a little bit and then tapping it off. Coming off pretty easy, it's almost off. Okay. Hit it from the other side. Came off real easy. Probably the easiest one I ever got off. I'm gonna to try to pop this race out of here. There's there's no catching the a little bit of the edge of the lip right here. Maybe if I had a real sharp tool, I could catch it on that. These work pretty good for, for that, but I can't. It's not enough there to catch. So the trick is, I got my MIG welder out. And you put a quick little bead around here. It doesn't have to be, you're not trying to get good penetration, a nice weld. You just want to, you want to get heat all the way around that. And even you know, it's just little globs all the way around. It gives you something to uh, uh, hit with to punch it out. So I'm going to put a little bead around here. And uh, I never had one, it's not come out. Open up the gas here. You guys be my spotter. <laughs> I got a bucket of water behind me there. Fire extinguisher. Because I got so much shit in here. Glad I got all the oil cleaned up. Got a rag, wet rag on here. So uh, let's see what happens. The hardest part is I got to jump from this side of the bench to that side. Start here, maybe. Start here, work my way around. Marks everywhere. No flare yet. I wish I could get underneath here.
put a bigger bead on there. No fire, and we got her out. Why can I start a fire here? I thought I saw a reflection of flames in my rear view mirror here. See if we can do that. No fires. That side's good. Catch that one. This one I can catch. As that doesn't land on paper, I'm good. Rocky's out. Get that out. 
side. There's the water. There we go. Okay. This is all ready. That's, this is all ready for the, the bearings when they come in. Give me a few more days. And then I can button up the front end. And I, I won't have to worry about this front end for years because uh, I've rebuilt on everything. Everything on it. Okay, put away my welder here. Just putting the uh, exhaust gaskets in. And mock up this exhaust. And uh, I don't know where I put the, the bolt for it, the nut for it. I gotta get this on to do the final adjustment on the pedal too. Hmm. It, to me it looks different than the picture. I thought this one came around like this, but I'd have to have another look. Right, right here a little bit, but uh, when I make the bracket, I'll make it so this comes out a little bit. I might have to raise this up. Probably should. Let me just see where the other one is. Here's that header pipe. It doesn't look too bad like this, just looking at it. But, uh, to me, this should be parallel to this pipe. Should be down here. That's, I don't have everything tightened up. Uh, it doesn't look right to me.
I'm gonna go look at the picture. Yeah, I know the one in the picture. It came down like this and it, and it had to curl up. Like this is a different header pipe. So you can see this pipe here is straight, and then it comes up. And this pipe does wrap around more like this. That pipe just kind of comes down here. Now this is for a newer model, so twin. this is a twin cam. Let me find a different picture. I emailed Firebrand. I was dealing with uh, a guy there. I don't know if he's the owner or manager. And uh, he says uh, they don't make these pipes for the early evolutions but they do make it for 86 and up soft tails and that's what uh, this pipe was supposed to be for but the soft tail pipe that they show it comes up around like this whoops comes around the front of this transmission like that and it shows this pipe down lower and coming up so um but i think that pipe when you buy the pipe it's all one piece and, and this is in sections because you can't see the welds on, on the one as advertised. You'll see it in the video there. I put a picture of it. So, if that's the case, he's saying that the soft tail engines leans forward more and that's why the pipe's coming up. I don't know if I buy that. All Harley engines, <laughs> you know, first of all, all frames on all motorcycles, this lower frame rail is designed to be parallel with, uh, with the ground, pretty close to it. And all Harley engines sit vertical. No, there's no engines that lean forward. So that doesn't quite make sense to me. But here's what I've been thinking. I've been looking at this thing. I'm waiting for them to email me back again. Maybe there's nothing they can do. If they can't, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this pipe right here. I'm gonna cut it right below that weld so that hopefully the uh, the inner piece will come out because it looks like it's a press fit and welded on the outside. Yeah, you can see where it's, it's flared out and I believe it's inch and a quarter pipe, inch and a half pipe. And uh, I think once I cut that, this, this whole section will just drop down and I'll set it parallel. It's gotta drop down an inch and a half or so. And then I'll extend this pipe. Um, I'll get them to make me a little stainless steel extension. And then I'll put, it, I'll put a chrome, I think I'm gonna uh, find or make a chrome cover that clamps over this area here because phone rang. Yeah, so I, I, I see if I can find a Harley shield or make a shield. I could probably make a pretty cool shield and uh, drill some holes in it. Because my leg's gonna be coming right over top of this pipe. If you ever touch this, this thing's gonna be hotter than hell. So I wouldn't mind a shield over that part anyways. And that'll cover up the weld and the little extension I'm gonna put on there. So I, I'm thinking that if I drop this down, inch and a half, I just need like a couple inch extension in there. It'll drop this down a little bit. It'll actually bring it down a little closer to these bolt holes. And I think that'll be fine. It'll give me a little bit more clearance in here too, like this should be more clearance. Yep, I'll wait till he emails me back. If uh, they can't do anything, then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut that right there. Can't hurt it, it's just metal. I'm gonna try to cut this pipe with my pipe cutters. Yeah, just on the side there. Yeah. 
I gotta grind this down level because the wheel of the cutter is uh, hitting hitting the rough parts. So I'm gonna grind this down smooth. get the cut three quarters of the way around so I'm gonna use my hacksaw to cut the rest of that I think I've cut it all the way around on the inside here hoping it's gonna slide out of that pipe and, uh, all different kinds of tools out oh, there it is. that's just mild steel it's already rusty okay right. let me put this back on the bike and then we can line the other one up. Right, right, right there is perfect. You can see right here, it's right level with the top of that frame rail. Well, right about, right about there. Gives me lots of clearance in here, clearance here. That's good like that. Snug that up. Let's see what I got to do to this one. There's about how much I'm out right there. Oh, yeah, more on that angle there. So I'm going to cut it off just above the weld here with my uh, um, cutoff saw. And then I need to add that much on plus that much and I can just make a little adapter so uh, um, that'll just all slide in there together give it a little tack on the back or something but uh, yeah that's that's how that should be right up about like that much better <laughs> put 
Put a cover over here, you won't see that chrome cover so it doesn't burn my leg. It is much more level with the frame, straight back, and I just need to uh, extend this a couple inches. I'll measure that, make a little adapter, and uh, that should be good to go. Let's take it to a muffler shop. I, I can't remember what this is to get a tape measure, inch and a quarter, so I think it is, but maybe it's inch and a half, but. And they just got to expand it at one end, so it'll slide into here and uh, slide over this. Yeah, so actually I got to make it about this big, that piece. So it slides over. That'll work, and that'll be uh, much better. The reason why I'm going to this two into one with a two and a quarter inch hole here is uh, because with the S and S carburetor intake, um, camshaft, um, everything, it needs to breathe a lot better. And you get a cyclone effect when you, whenever you put a two into one or four into one, uh, it just increases horsepower, five to eight horsepower on most bikes. So um, that's why I'm doing this. I'm going to all that trouble. Uh, you know, putting all that stuff on. I mean, I want to put a nice pipe on. It's going to look pretty good, too. It's a pretty unique-looking pipe. Not too many of them out there. Okay, I'm going to measure that, and uh, hopefully I can get that made tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. This is the original header pipe that came with the FXR. Uh, it was an older uh, set of pipes. Um very little baffles in them and uh, I did find uh, I was gonna put this bike like all original stock so I did find a, a new set of stock pipes there off a newer model like a 90 a 94 FX HD I believe but they're they're almost identical and uh, so I've got those pipes those are stock HD pipes but uh, there's the older ones down there they're pretty uh, Grody. Grody? I don't know. But uh, this header pipe, on oh, this pipe, I, I was thinking it was an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. It's an inch and three quarters, so that's pretty standard. But here's the here's the pipe that I, I cut the piece off it and cleaned it all up. And I was just going to make it make a, an adapter, which I could easily do. Go get them made an adapter, but then it's into three pieces. So I just need to extend that a couple inches. But then I found this pipe here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off about here, maybe a little bit longer, and, and snip it down a little bit. I'll try to get it pretty close on the first cut. And uh, this pipe is, is this is the original chrome shield. So I'll be able to make this chrome shield work with this. I might have to cut a bit off. Cut a little bit off of it and rounding it up. And uh, that way I got a heat shield for it. You're not gonna see the pipe, it's under the heat shield. I'll clean it all up. And uh, that'll be my fix. I'll just need uh, you know, a little bit of weld around one spot rather than make another third piece adapter. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut that down. I'll, measure it and re-measure it and hopefully I can do it in one cut. Helps, helps if I start it on the right side. I'm going to screw that up. Probably going to have to loosen this off to uh, to get it in there. I got that front pipe set to right, right exactly where I want it. Enough clearance everywhere. You don't have too much of a choice because of the angle of the header up there. So now this is that pipe I cut down. Uh, issue with it 
it, it sticks out a little bit too far this way like I don't I could cut off another half inch off it and swing it over into here but I already had it in here and, and uh, well maybe I'll try it one more time but where's my light ah uh, batteries okay you got a light up there now but see this this can this has to, that has to fit nice and square you know and that's about sits out too far. So even if I cut this off and put it in there, it's going to force the, the lower pipe out and then it doesn't fit right up there and then it's sticking out too far. So I think I'm going back to plan A. Where is plan A? I just had plan A here a minute ago. Behind here somewhere? Right here. <clears throat> So this, this is a much heavier pipe. This is like twice the gauge of that pipe, twice the weight. It's, it is a nice, good quality, heavy pipe. I gotta give them that. So that's nice and, there, that's nice and square there. Get it to the right angle, about there, about there. And see that lines up nice. That's pretty, that's pretty good right there. Yeah, I got about a one inch gap there. So, uh, what I might do is cut off a piece of this. I got, I got a pipe expander here somewhere. I'm trying to find it. Everything's buried in this garage somewhere. And uh, I'll make that little piece. I think I can make it. I think it's small enough to go in here. Maybe not, maybe it's too big, I don't know. I know I got one here somewhere. It was, it was here, it was on the bench all summer. I don't know if I threw it in there. Or if I threw it in the back corner, back here somewhere. I thought I thought I threw it back here. You know, it could be anywhere in here. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to make an adapter plate. Found my tool. It's from Harbor Freight. I've tried to use it twice now, both times it, it's, I can't get it to work right. It's just not strong enough, it stripped the threads here, so I had to put some more washers in it to get the good threads. Um, and this is pretty mild steel. You know, it, it expanded it a little bit, but uh, for me if I had heat to it or something, but uh, I was gonna go to a muffler shop and, Get a little piece expanded. They just do it in like two seconds. He'll probably do it for free for me. I know the guy there. And uh, make a little piece for that. The shield's going to cover that all up. The shield's going to cover that all up in here. You're not even going to see it. And, uh, you know, that's kind of how I want it. I want a little spacing down here where that bolt is. I noticed this bolt it doesn't have a washer on it. That lower one does have a washer on it, it's sticking out farther. So has the swing arm been apart too? I'm gonna to check, when I get the front wheel on, I'll jack this up, check the swing arm. Might have to rebuild that too, I don't know. But we're gonna do it all. We're gonna check out this whole bike. And uh, <coughs> yeah, I'd love to get these pipes on there. Then you know I can fire it up. Once we get that back together. Yeah, there's not too much clearance in here, but there's a little bit. Eighth inch. I think that's going to be it for today's video. Today's uh, Friday. I won't be able to get that pipe bent until Monday, probably. And I'm going to play hockey right now, so today's done. Till next time.